Hi, welcome back to the channel. At this channel, I attempt to give you high quality code where you can copy and paste into your own personal projects. I write the code in React.js and Tailwind CSS, and I ideas for it to be easily adaptable and highly customizable. Let's take a look at what we have here today. As you can tell by the title, it's a demo of your computer's clipboard. The idea is when I type something in here, I want to be able to click a div and copy the value onto my clipboard. So let's see when I type, when I click here, it says copied and now I can paste it by pressing control V. Let's try it again so you know I'm not lying to you. I click on click to copy and now I can paste it here. So how do we do this? Let's take a look at our clipboard demo component. First of all, we notice that we are importing the use clipboard custom hook. We'll take a look at what use clipboard does in a second but Let's, tr let's take a real quick glance at what clipboard demo is. We have our state. This state is what the input's reflecting, as well as this div here. And we have what you would expect, right? We have a clipboard demo div that simply out outputs this, a name, and we have a button. And this button is this where when I click on it, it calls the function copy on the value that it's displaying. And it's disabled when the clipboard state is equal to copied. The idea is that when I click on it, I don't want to let the user be able to spam click on this div. As you can see, I can only copy it once and not more than once until the clipboard state has changed back to click to copy. Next, we have our div here, and this is simply the Kelvin CSS way to build a tooltip here. So you see this gray tooltip, that is what this div is doing. And as you can see, Kelvin CSS is pretty amazing. You can do things like that really, really simply. I mean, I would argue that this is a lot simpler than having another CSS file and defining all the classes there. For example, if I want to change the background color of this tooltip from gray to blue, all I have to do is change gray to blue here. And then now it's blue. I can change that here too. So the tip of the tooltip is also blue. Um, it's this one actually. Yep. Okay. Finally, I have a an input here where it's just this and has the set set value on change handler. That's what is changing the value here. And then this error block, which we'll talk about once we have talked about the use clipboard hook. So let's go and take a look what take a look at what use clipboard actually do. We have this hook that takes in an object with the delay key and the idea for delay is that if you pay attention when I click when I click on this button here you see that the state transitions to copied and then after two seconds it transitions back to click to copy so how does this happen this happens because I have passed in a delay with 2000 milliseconds here and we use that in our set timeout function down here which is in the copy function and we set the clipboard state back to click to copy after some delay now let's take a look at what copy does in detail first of all we check if clipboard state is equal to copied if it is, we simply return. Again, this is another protection from your user spam clicking the user interface. We don't want to execute too many. Copy the clipboard at once. And 
this is how we achieve it. Next, we have the expression clipboard in Navigator. So what is this doing? This is simply checking if we have the clipboard object in the Navigator object. Why do we need to do this check? This is because some old browsers may not support this functionality. But most modern browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and Edge, they do support this. So it's not something that you really have to worry about, but it's always a, a good thing to check for errors. If, if there is an error, we simply set the state to error, and then we set error to browser does not support navigator.clipboard. In, in the case where clipboard and navigator is true, what we do is we call the write text function on the clipboard object. This is, this is the actual function that copies the value into our clipboard onto our clipboard so I'm going to type something here um, when I type something here and I click click to copy and I can paste it this is the function this line here is what is actually doing the work okay and then we use await because we want to await this to copy before we set the state back to copied so once this is done so once it's copied to our clipboard the value we set the state to copied. And then we want to set it back to click to copy, right? Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to copy another value, right? But we do not want to do that too quickly because that way the user would be able to spam or a bot would be able to spam your user interface and that is something that is not desirable. Therefore, we use a set timeout function here to set the clipboard state back to its original state after some delay. We can make this more obvious if we do, let's say, eight seconds instead of two. So we click to copy. You see it's copied now. And I can type here, but I can type something here, but I can, sorry, okay, let's, let's redo it. I think I ran out of time there. So let's refresh this. Test one. Okay, I click to copy. Now I change this to test two. It's still copied. And if I paste it now, you see it's test one and not test two. And that proves that the value was not copied. Now if I delete this and then I copy it again, it is now test two. So that's how the click to copy function works. Um, finally, we have this set error here. Our browser here does support this functionality, so we don't see the error, but let's just see what happens if we happen to use a browser that does not support this. We click the copy. Oops. It says browser that not, does not support navigator.clipboard. So that's how you can display the error here. Um, you simply do an in an end statement an inline jsx end statement to check if the error is truthy if it is through truthy we display it as div with the text of color red and the error in the div and that is what is showing here and that got passed from the use clipboard custom hook and that is the end of this presentation or tutorial that I wanted to that I wanted to show you. Don't he hesitate to contact me or leave a comment down in the comment section if you have any questions. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.